Hello kids, are you ready to listen to The Dinosaur's Dinner? Written by Christina Butler and illustrated by Val Biro. If you'd like to stay up to date on all my stories, would you be so kind as to click on the big red subscribe button at the bottom of this video? It was dinner time and the dinosaurs were hungry. But when they reached the lake, there was nothing for their dinner. Who's eating my trees? Was it you? Diplodocus shouted at Triceratops. Someone stabbed my palms! Was it you? wailed Triceratops. Who's gobbled all my water lilies? roared Stegosaurus, glaring at them both. As they got hungrier, the dinosaurs shouted and yelled and argued and fought until suddenly Stegosaurus cried, well, if you didn't eat my water lilies, then who did? Triceratops was puzzled. And who is big enough to squash my palms? She asked. And strong enough to break my trees down? Diplodocus whispered. They looked at each other and trembled. All night, the three dinosaurs had terrible dreams about ferocious dinosaurs with big sharp teeth. The big Rexes. The next morning, they decided to find somewhere safer, away from the mountains where the big Rexes lived. On and on, they walked, day and night, until they found a beautiful lake in the forest, covered in water lilies, a long way from the mountains. But all at once, out of nowhere... There came a terrible noise and a frightful wind. The trees creaked and the tops fell off. The leaves of the palm bushes flew into the air and with a great whoosh, the water lilies were thrown out of the lake. The three dinosaurs were blown off their feet and rolled back into a swamp. When the wind stopped blowing, they heard a deep, sad voice. Please don't go. It said, I want to be friends. Diplodocus, Triceratops and Stegosaurus climbed out of the swamp and looked up. There was a huge dinosaur in front of them. I'm a Gigantosaurus from the south, she said. I've got a cold in my very big nose and when I sneeze, everyone runs away. She sniffed loudly. No one will be friends with me. The three dinosaurs walked round the lake to look at her. Don't be sad, said Stegosaurus. We'll be your friends. Just as long as you don't sneeze at us again, cried Diplodocus, and blow us away and spoil our dinner, Triceratops added quickly. Then they all laughed and had dinner with their new friend. Bye Gigantosaurus, bye Stegosaurus, bye Diplodocus and bye Triceratops. See you soon. Thank you for listening kids. I hope you enjoyed this story and I'll see you soon in the next video. And kids, always remember to be good and kind. Bye for now. 